Hi, I'd like to show you some tips on using our Daniel Smith Artist Masking Fluid. This is a bottle of our masking fluid and I can just remove the top and with our masking fluid you can actually use the applicator that comes on the bottle itself for wider lines and if you'd like finer lines you'll want to use one of the fine line applicator needles. Each bottle comes with five of them so you want to firmly press it onto the bottle and I'm going to show you, you want to fill the tip of the applicator with the masking fluid. Gently squeeze, you, and you do not want to shake your bottle by the way because you'll get some air bubbles into the needle tip. So gently squeeze the bottle so you see the masking fluid start to fill the applicator needle and you can see a little bead there of the masking fluid. So gently you want to apply that to your drawing. In this case it's a line drawing of a hummingbird that I want to mask out a few details um, like the beak which is very fine. You don't want to squeeze your masking fluid bottle. Mostly just want to let the capillary action of the masking fluid flow out from your bottle and it flows a little bit better if it's tilted almost upside down or you know with a steep angle until you get the flow going. So there I've got the beak of my hummingbird and I could trace out more of my hummingbird. Oops, see that's what happens when you squeeze. You get way too much. So I should not have squeezed right there. Keep using the, allowing the capillary action to draw out the masking fluid. Now you can also use it in the way that you would use most masking fluids with a brush. So I would just remove my tip here, which I do need to clean out right away so it doesn't clog it up. And I'll squirt some of the masking fluid in a little dish. And then put the cap back on. I like to store my masking fluid upside down. It actually helps keep uh, the applicator tip full of the masking fluid. Then taking a brush and getting it slightly damp, dampened blot out a little bit of the excess water, then dip it into the masking fluid. You can then apply masking fluid with your brush. Be sure to do it. Don't let, the, let it be thinned out too much with water. Now you want to use inexpensive brushes because the masking fluid will clog up the hairs of the brushes and you don't want to ruin any of your good expensive brushes. And also be sure to rinse it out completely when you're done and you can preserve your inexpensive brush as long as possible. I'll show you how, a tip on how to clean out the applicator when you're done in another video. That's our Daniel Smith Artist Masking Fluid.